Hi. Today we want to get our hands a little dirty and show you some cool demos. And not just any demos. These will all be ways to visualize the expansion of our universe, which otherwise can be kind of hard to get your head around. So to start off, let's enjoy this blast from the past, a demo from our series pilot. Longtime fans of the series might recall this clip. Cosmic expansion. <sighs> Ugh, my hair was so much fuller. <laughs> Uh, half the fun of science demos is their non-science applications. And here, this special type of construction, called a Holberman sphere, or Holby, models the earliest moments of the universe, shortly after the Big Bang. Ever since 1929, astronomers have known the universe is expanding. Edwin Hubble observed that most galaxies are moving away from us. The farther away a galaxy is, the faster it goes. This expansion isn't motion through space, it's actually the expansion of space itself. So if space is expanding, but matter and energy aren't, then the universe must be slightly bigger, cooler, and less dense than it was yesterday. If we turn back the clock, we deduce that the universe must once have been smaller, hotter, and denser than it is today. The universe must have begun in a very hot and very compact state. Quite a bit smaller than Yes, yes, Hobie this is here. not to scale, but this is an approximation. Mm -hmm. A good way to show this expansion in slightly more detail than the Holderman sphere is putting blingy stickers on a balloon and blowing it up like so. Notice the galaxies, those are the blingy stickers, stay the same size, while the fabric of space-time the balloon expands. Just pay attention to the surface of the balloon, not to the interior. We lost some galaxies there. Uh, we got more where they can. Yeah. So, and a tastier way still to show the same idea is with raisin bread. The raisins, the galaxies, stay the same size while the bread, the fabric of space-time, has expanded, moving the raisins farther away from each other. Ah, delicious. Another common misconception is that scientists could point to a spot where the Big Bang occurred. The truth is, everything in the universe, every point in every galaxy, originated from the same tiny, infinitely dense point 13.7 billion years ago. So really, the Big Bang happened everywhere. So this is a great demo to show that we are not in the center of the universe. Right now, let's say we're an astronomer in this galaxy. It looks like all the other galaxies are moving away from us. The closest ones are moving a little bit slower than the farthest ones. But let's change our position a little bit. Let's say we're now an astronomer in this galaxy. It also looks like all the galaxies are receding. So these ones here, here, here are moving slightly slower than ones out here that are moving faster. Really, it's all just a matter of perspective. So if the universe is expanding, people might wonder what it's expanding into. You saw a balloon in this room become a bigger balloon in this room, and raisin bread expands to fill the loaf pan it's in. But that's where these demos break down, because our universe isn't expanding into anything. There's no demo we can show to explain that the expansion is of space itself. But if you can think of one, please do let us know that. Mm -hmm. It'll be awesome, and you can get your name in the show and everything. So, until next time. Bye. Okay, here we go. The championship to decide who gets to do it in the video. Here we go. Suck it. That's sad. <laughs>